More than 100 kids and their families gathered in Surrey today for a tournament where the ultimate goal was not to win. As the CBC's Janella Hamilton tells us, coaches are teaching them lessons that go well beyond the field. Get his flag, get his flag! Keep going, keep going! Watching kids of all ages laugh, run, and try to capture their opponent's flag, it's a sight that brings a smile to Stanley Price's face. Price is a former gang member who spent years in and out of jail. I made a lot of wrong choices in my life, and um, I think if there was more resources like this, I probably wouldn't have made a lot of those wrong choices. Now that he has done his time, he's joined forces with veteran police officer and Kids Play CEO Cal DeSange. Together, they want to show kids there's better ways to keep busy than getting into trouble. I don't want any, any kid, my kids included, to fall into that, that dark path that I followed. A lot of kids don't participate in Kabaddi, which is a traditional Indian game that originated out of India and involves a lot of wrestling, grappling. Dosanj says flag Kabaddi is just one of the activities youth can participate in through kids play. He says he began the foundation after seeing too many young people get involved with drugs and crime. It always bothered me because we'd be apprehending these kids, pushing through the criminal justice system, and they'd be spewed out on the other end to re-engage in a perpetual cycle of violence. All right, three, two, one, go. Since its inception in 2015, Kids Play has served more than 70,000 kids. All programs are free of charge. I want every single child to have an equal opportunity regardless of their socioeconomic background. And it's making tremendous headway. 30 kids that came through our programs are now law enforcement officers. We have some going to law school, some going to med school, some going to engineering. Dosange says it's all about creating an engaging and supportive community. And a big part of teaching kids how to build a better future is connecting them with people who have made mistakes. It's one thing for a police officer to get up on stage and talk about staying on the right track. But it's another thing when you have somebody that's been in that lifestyle and telling kids, hey, I was there. I personally struggled to that. These are the adversities I had to face, and you don't want to do that for these reasons, and here's why. Get it, get it, get it. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Surrey.